You know I love your brown skin she Talk about anything He's got nothing to hide I will always be working musician has always had issues with Spotify and then they bring in this Joe Rogan thing and now it creates a thing that I can't not speak up about. Can you believe that after selling an impressive 10 million albums globally and bagging not one but four Grammy Awards, India Irie Simpson came shockingly close to giving up on her greatest passion, music? Now you must be wondering why. Let me fill you in. Born amidst the breathtaking Rockies in October 75, India Ari emerged from a lineage dripping with talent. And let's not forget about her fashion. Her outfits are cultural, vibrant, and beautiful. She said on a recent interview that her mother was the designer of her outfits. Who would have thought? With a mother who shared stages with Stevie Wonder and a father who ruled the basketball court, artistic prowess coursed through her veins. From choir harmonies to mastering instruments, India's musical genius shone brightly. But it was the guitar that captured her heart from the first strum. Despite family upheavals and a move to Atlanta, the city of stars, India's dreams soared beyond college projects. Swapping jewelry for hits, she co-founded Groovement and caught the eye of Motown Records by 24. Hollywood, brace yourself, India Ari, armed with her guitar and soul ablaze, was destined to dazzle the world stage. Amidst the whirlwind of 2001's musical madness, with the soulful sounds of Jill Scott and Erica Badu swirling around, India Ari burst onto the scene on March 27th, armed with her game-changing album, Acoustic Soul, repping the iconic Motown brand. Her arrival hit the industry like a lightning bolt. While others aimed for the high notes, India captured hearts with her soul-stirring guitar vibes and straight-from-the-heart lyrics. Her anthem of self-love video rocketed up the charts. Sometimes I shave my legs and sometimes I don't. Snagging a jaw-dropping seven Grammy nods. Everybody had their eyes on her, betting on her Grammy sweep. But when the big night rolled around, fate pulled a dirty trick on our girl. Silence filled the room as India's name stayed unspoken, leaving her crushed and questioning her place in the glittery world of music. She made the tough call to step back in her darkest hour, leaving fans and the industry shaken. But just when it all seemed lost, India Ari rose like a phoenix from the ashes, with a fire in her soul that couldn't be tamed. With grit and her trusty guitar in hand, she declared, The music biz may not see my worth, but I'll make them crave my presence. And so, she embarked on a triumphant comeback with Voyage to India. Get ready for a wild ride through her musical journey, where she stares fame's stormy seas in the eye and finds her true self amidst the chaos. But that wasn't the only time Ari was fed up with the music industry. In January 2022, icons like Neil Young and Joni Mitchell yanked their tunes from Spotify's playlist, pointing fingers at Joe Rogan's controversial COVID misinformation. And guess who decided to join the party? You guessed it, our girl India Ari. In February, she followed suit, yanking her music and songversation podcast from Spotify's platform and citing not just Rogan's COVID quips, but also his dicey language around race. And let's not forget his casual use of the N-word, a hot-button issue that had Ari seeing red. As a working musician, I has always had issues with Spotify, and then they bring in this Joe Rogan thing, and now it creates a thing that I can't not speak up about. He's not the reason, but he is the final reason. In a candid chat with CNN's Don Lemon, Ari laid it all out on the table. I don't think that Joe Rogan is racist for using it. I think he's insensitive for using it. And can you blame her? Clips of Rogan's racially charged rants were making rounds faster than a viral TikTok dance, leaving Ari and many others shaking their heads in disbelief. She didn't stop there, folks. India went on to blast Spotify for seemingly taking advantage of artists who rely heavily on the platform. She highlighted the glaring difference between artists streaming pennies and Rogan's Spotify jackpot rumored to be around 250 million. There is the treatment of artists by Spotify. And so artists are underpaid and Joe, Joe Rogan gets paid all this money. 
In a sizzling interview on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, India unleashed a verbal hurricane, spilling all the juicy details about Spotify's shady royalty schemes and business practices, revealing what really drove her to take a stand. When Noah hinted at Rogan being her sworn enemy, Ari swiftly redirected the conversation, making it crystal clear that her beef was with Spotify and its unfair treatment of artists and not some podcast dude. She dropped truth bombs left and right, making it crystal clear that yanking her music from Spotify wasn't just a power move. It was a declaration of war against the system. Delving into the murky waters of royalty payments, Ari peeled back the curtain on Spotify's stingy payouts, likening them to tossing pennies into a wishing well while they swim in an ocean of cash. She emphasized that while streaming on any platform pays low, Spotify takes the cake for offering the lowest payouts to artists. So first of all, Spotify is not only the biggest player, but they're also the lowest payer. We get 0.003 to 0.005% of a penny. And as for Rogan, Ari didn't hold back, labeling his behavior as consciously racist and calling him out for perpetuating harmful stereotypes. For me, when I think about Joe Rogan, I think that he is being consciously racist. So saying it and then being like, what are you going to do? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. Or I I didn't understand there was no context under which I should say it. I don't believe that. I think he knew there was no context. The uproar from countless musicians following suit dealt a hefty blow to Spotify resulting in a staggering $2 billion loss in market value. In response, Spotify CEO Daniel Eck issued an official statement on January 30th, announcing plans to add COVID-19 content advisories to relevant podcast episodes. But hold on to your hats, folks, because India Ari wasn't about to let bygones be bygones. She reignited her feud with Spotify after the platform made a major faux pas, using a photo of a white woman on the cover art for her single, Brown Skin. Now I could understand why she was pissed off. The 48-year-old songstress didn't mince words, referencing her past clashes with Spotify and lamenting the lack of support when she took a stand. And just when she thought she'd made peace with the industry's cutthroat nature, Spotify pulled a stunt like this. A slap in the face. After over a year of absence, the neo-soul sensation eventually made a stunning comeback to the streaming platform, putting her music back in the spotlight. And in a surprising turn of events, podcaster Joe Rogan extended a heartfelt apology, which the songstress graciously accepted. Her protest bore fruit to some extent, with both Rogan and Spotify owning up to their roles and committing to a systemic change in the music industry. Spotify revised its terms and conditions, removed over 70 episodes of Rogan's podcast, and pledged to increase artist payouts by 15% annually for the next five years. A whopping 75% overall boost. Ari also revealed that Spotify pledged a whopping $100 million to support podcasters of color, although she couldn't confirm who's monitoring the implementation. But that's a story for another day. Ari, known for dropping truth bombs, is stirring the pot once again. This time, she's got Megan the Stallion and Janelle Monet in her sights. And let's just say she's not here for their latest performance antics. At the Essence Festival, Megan and Janelle turned up the heat with a performance that had everyone talking. Megan, the queen of twerk, was doing her thing on stage, surrounded by a sea of fans, while Janelle was right there hyping up the crowd. Essence even gushed about it on Instagram, calling it a hot girl boot camp moment, with Janelle throwing in all the encouragement. But not everyone was feeling the heat. India Ari took to the comments to voice her two cents, and girl, she didn't hold back. She's all about context, asking if everything belongs on a stage or if certain performances should be dialed back for the sake of discretion and discernment. It's like she's saying, love yourselves, but maybe keep a little mystery. The I am not my hair singer even went as far to question the future of the music industry, worrying about how these performances might not age well. And to those ready to clap back at her, India's message is clear. Save it, honey. I've been in this game for 25 years, and I'm not about to start a debate now. But guess what? The Twitterverse isn't having any of it. Some folks are clapping back, basically telling India to mind her own business. Don't nobody give a damn what India Ari thinks about Megan Thee Stallion and Janelle Monae, snapped one tweeter. 
Now, let's pause and bask in the glow of Ari's incredible accomplishments. From the powerful anthem, Breathe, you can do to help him. Continue to breathe. Continue. born out of the Black Lives Matter movement, to the comforting tunes of her debut EP, Songversation Medicine, Ari has truly made an unforgettable impact on the music world. Boasting four Grammy Awards, a staggering 21 nominations, two BET Awards, four NAACP Image Awards, and a plethora of Soul Train Music Award nominations, India Ari isn't just a musician, she's music royalty. With a net worth of $4 million, she's not just thriving, she's redefining the game. At the age of 48, India is aging backward. Let's raise the roof for India Ari, the indomitable force in music whose soul-stirring voice has not only rocked our worlds, but left us eagerly awaiting more. Cheers to the unfolding of her legendary journey. What is your favorite song for India Ari? Comment down below. See you next time.